So in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the certainty principle mission story within the end of an era mission. And I'm just going to fast forward it to the key point. So let me fast forward it now. So if you just follow the marker, you're going to come to this uh, little restaurant. Uh, where you're going to have to meet, um, you're actually going to have to listen to a conversation, and then you're going to be instructed to go over to a building to retrieve a document. So I'm just going to speed up to the point uh, where we go to the building. I'm going to show you the route through the building. So you basically just follow the cursor over to this building and the easiest way is just to go through the doors on the ground floor. Uh, you can crawl up uh, or go out the uh, go up through the side of the building and go through an apartment but sometimes you get caught by some people. That door right there is the apartment that we're going to but we're going to go up to the roof and look for this section of the wall that's uh, torn out hang down and look for this pipe over here that we can slide down to and just reach this ledge, hop off, go through the window and if you come over here to the bed um, of course I'm going to click the answer machine I'm sure that's probably useful but anyways this is the form that you're going to need and basically you're just going to go out the uh, you, you can go out the door that we passed uh, and then I'm just going to fast forward to back to the restaurant. So we uh, follow the cursor back to the restaurant uh, where we listened in on the conversation. When we get here, basically what we're going to need is this uh, gentleman sitting down his suit or his disguise. So go in the bathroom, grab you some ratapui. This guy right here to my left. Go make your way back to the kitchen, don't worry. Uh, these couple chefs in here, they don't really seem to really care what we're doing. But this guy's currently in my way. There's a little dish that we're going to have to make. So whenever he decides to quit looking at it. Come on, dude. There he goes. So you just come over here and assemble your little bowl of soup or whatever we're making here. Once it's done, add the rat to Pewee. Ding the bell. And make your way back out into the restaurant area. And actually, you can just go over to the bathroom area. It'll be the best thing to do. Make sure the guys, yep, the server's got it. He's bringing it out. Make sure. There he comes. All right, he's serving it. So let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go into the bathroom here. And I forgot we actually get to drown somebody in the toilet. This is the first mission, the first time. At least that, I, that I've done this today. I mean, I haven't done all the challenges in the, uh, the first three missions. But uh, anyways, here comes our, uh, our, our guy here. Little Tum Tum. Tum Tum sick. And there we go. Let's just drown him. So basically that's it. Once you um, dispose of that guy there, just take his suit and a um, little container over here. You can tuck him away in if you want. But basically that's it. You're going to go talk to um, talk to the guide. I can't remember what her name is, but um, I'm just going to let it play out the rest of the mission. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to go to a underground facility and you're just going to listen to her. There's a couple of simple things that are straightforward, like little hacks and things um, 
like you got to use your phone to like hack some stuff but anyways it'll show you around this underground facility um i think you're gonna need to kind of understand the layout whenever you um whenever you eliminate uh miss royce but anyways um that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you found the uh, the information up to this point useful. Um, like I said, the rest of the store, the rest of the video is pretty straightforward. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time. But we have, without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard, invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the red is in fact a front that let all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's step inside. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular bill that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible M.O. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we performed detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. I need your P41 to start the clearance procedure. You seem so obsessed. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. Yeah, keep it real. Sorry, I just need to do a quick search if you want to get through. Just routine. And you are good to go, sir. Thank you. Here's the P41. Please start the authentication process for top security clearance and engage the zero protocol. VIP. I'll get right on it. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. If you had the right dongle, you could hack that panel 47. What is it, Jamie? What's wrong? I don't know. I'm just worried about the scan. What? But why? Is there something... I don't mean the scan itself. I mean that my results won't let me pass. My level's been just within the tolerance the last couple of days. Really? Mental or physical scan? Yeah, well, it's all connected. Blood pressure, perforation, stress hormones. Like, you gotta get... You have to do something to get these guys to show up? Uh... 
No, you have to... Good, you're here. I've started the security oh. clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got you can hack that panel with your camera, 47. Granted. Good. I'm in. And you're safe. <sighs> that was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top- Oh, good. There she is. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Nothing wrong with her look, though. Hi, Imogen Royce. Edgy. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cutting to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. 
You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state-of-the-art is nothing but heavy old-fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration for you. Yeah, hey. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt, the guard in the lower left, is as tough as nails when on duty. But in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, I got bed. Uh, at the top right, you see All Alicia right, Reynolds. Later. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term guard complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there 